All right, so I've sewn it with a three quarter inch seam allowance and I've pressed it open and then I'm going to press towards the front. So the front of my dress is this way. So I'm gonna press this all towards the front. So I pressed it open and then I'm pressing towards the front. And similar to the way we did the flat felling on the shoulder seams, I'm gonna trim away the front seam allowance, which in this case is the underside. And that's because we're gonna wrap this, this back seam allowance over the top of it. So I'm gonna just open this back up a little bit here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off this front seam allowance here. And the easiest way, honestly, to do that is to pick up the dress like this and hold that front, that back seam allowance down and just have just the front seam allowance there and then just go along with your scissors. All right, we're in the home stretch now. So I've trimmed away my front seam allowance and I'm going to take the rest of the back seam allowance and I'm going to wrap it around the front seam allowance, just like that. I'm gonna wrap and press. So this is gonna wrap nicely because I've got a nice quarter inch and I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pulling the seam allowances toward each other, I'm folding this over and then I'm pressing it down just like that. So that way the outer seam allowance, the back seam allowance encloses the front just like that. And that creates a really nice interior finish that's stable, doesn't require surging or zigzagging or anything else, just like that. And I'm gonna go all the way down the dress here and then similar to what we did when we did the front, um, when we uh, did the shoulder seams, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch along this edge here. And so when you're done, you're gonna have a nice clean flat felt edge. It's gonna be all nice and, and neat on the inside and everything's gonna be enclosed. So that's what our, our aim is here. And you can actually come down here and you can actually sort of finger press a little bit just to kind of get it in the right place initially. And then you can come back with your iron and you can press this whole thing down with your iron and then stitch. So we'll do that and we'll do this whole side. All right there, sewing friends. So I'm doing the final flat fell seam and I wanna show you how I'm doing it. So <clears throat> I've gone ahead and I've pressed and trimmed the seam allowances. So the front one's trimmed away and I've got the back one and I'm rolling it over. The first thing I'm doing is I'm actually folding the seam allowance down, the, the other one down. And then I'm gonna fold it again to create the whole flat fell. So first I've taken this wider seam allowance and I've wrapped it around the smaller one. So basically I'm just folding down and I'm bringing it right to the seam line here and then I'm pressing it. And that just gets me my first kind of in the right spot fold. And that way I'm sure that I'm rolling the um, outer seam allowance, the back seam allowance over the top of the front one. And then once I get all the way down to the end, I'm gonna go back over it and turn the whole thing under. And as you can see, it would be really important to do this because this linen is very ravelly and um, the flat felled seam allowances um, create a nice, perfect finish on the inside that will wear a long time. So once I've gone over that whole first pass, I'm folding it under, I'm gonna come back and now I'm gonna actually make the flat felt, which is just folding it again. And then I'm gonna press that down and I think you'll notice here that my seam allowances are not exactly perfect um, in terms of like, you know, the width of them. And you can trim those down and like make them perfectly even, which um, I'm not going to bother to do. Um, and, I'll, and I'll be honest about that. I mean, I think if you're being a perfectionist, go ahead and do it and you can call me out on it if you want to. Um, but the fact of the matter is this is the side seam and um, absolutely nobody's going to stand to the left of me or the right of me and look at my side seams and say, my goodness, your flat felling is not perfect. Um, I think as sewists, we get a little bit too concerned with perfection. Um, the average person's gonna look at this dress and go, wow, I love that color, or she looks so amazing. Um, and there's gonna be none of that. Um, wow, her flat felled seam allowances are not perfect. <laughs> So anyway, now that I've got this in place and I've pressed it, I'm going to go ahead and trim up my extra threads and then I'm going to go ahead and stitch this all down and we will be done with this dress. All right, sewing friends. So a pro tip, start sewing the dress from the bottom when you do these flat felt seams. When you did the first one, you were actually working with a flat so that the dress was open. Now that the dress is closed, you're going to have to deal with the under part from the other side of the dress here. And so I've just kind of pulled that forward here as I'm doing this flat felt. And I've started from the bottom and I'm working my way up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish stitching the rest of this all the way up here, and then we will be done. And again, I'm lining up the toe of my presser foot along that edge. So 
also just inside the toe and I'm taking care to periodically lift up the other side of the dress so I'm not gonna stitch my dress together in the middle because you don't wanna do that. And periodically making sure that there's no, nothing underneath there. And then as I get towards the shoulder, the underarm seam right here, you can see the underarm is open here. I'm really in the home stretch now at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep turning those under. You'll notice I didn't pin this. You can feel free and pin this if you're going, but I find that just the pressing really holds it in shape. And as long as you kind of move slowly down it, it's not gonna unroll too much on you. Once I get here, I'm gonna go ahead and just give a little back stitch. And then I'm gonna pull the whole dress through under the presser foot here. I'm gonna trim off those extremely long thread tails and we will be finished with this dress. I am super excited. So this dress takes about two hours from start, from cut to finish. Um, you're seeing it in um, kind of super slow-mo here. And I just, I had a couple little extra little hairs here, some long threads that stuck out from underneath my um, flat fell, so I just removed those. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the whole thing right side out, just trim off my threads here. I'm gonna turn the whole thing right side out, but honestly, it looks so nice on the inside. Look at that, it just encloses everything beautifully. That's your outside, this is your inside. It just encloses everything beautifully on this dress. And I'm really excited. So now the next one is the reveal, so. The final version of my and Normandy slip dress, and it fits perfect. Really good fit across the upper chest. There it is at the back. You can see it's got a nice shape here in the back. Cutaway armholes. I'm wearing it with a racer back bra. You can't really even see it um, there. It looks great, fabulous with your statement jewelry. The linen just floats away from the body in a really nice shape. It is above cut above the knee, and I've left the salvage. But if you wanted it to be a little shorter, of course, you could just, you know, give it a couple of turns and put it up even higher if you wanted to. I love this shape. It's not too clingy, but it's nice and fitted through the upper chest, um, which I think is very flattering on everybody. And the linen just has really wonderful drape. This is a heavyweight linen, a medium, I think it's a medium to heavyweight linen, and it just floats away from the body really nicely. So... This is just a perfect summer dress. It's super easy to sew. It takes about two hours from cut to finish. Um, there are lots of things you can do with it. I've done some surface embellishment with the teak on this cotton one. You could choose to do some embroidery, um, everything else. My dog says you have your shoes on, and I think that I would like to go for a walk. <laughs>